George Johnson, he was one of the founders of Endicott Johnson Shoe Factory. He did a lot for the community and one of the things that he did do is he created parks and he put a carousel in them so that the children would always be able to have a free carousel ride and he thought that that was really important to someone's well-being to be happy and healthy. The first carousel was a gift in 1919. He definitely was ahead of the, the trend of really recognizing the value of having your employees have that quality of life, that balance of work life. When they were donated by the Johnson family, that was a stipulation that they always be available free to ride for the public. It is a huge family attraction. We have a lot of events that are geared towards families. And then you have uh, these treasured carousels that are free. It's just incredible and definitely family friendly from all ages. Little kids love riding them and the grandparents love riding them as well. So it, it really does tie in well. They are such a huge part of our history. But the whole idea behind being part of our story is, is taking that pride of the past and keeping it current and fresh and new. So the fact that all of the carousels are in working order and that they're constantly being repainted and the music kept up and stuff like that, it keeps them current. And kids nowadays are enjoying what kids 100 years ago enjoyed. But because of the collection that we have, that we have six of them in our community, we're really known as the carousel capital of the world. You're never not proud of the carousels in the collection that we have and the uniqueness of that. It's, it just really is a great story for us to tell and it's something that we've told for many, many years. It just reinforces the sense of pride. There's so many times that you live someplace and you always take for granted the good things that are in your own backyard. I think it's amazing and I see the progress that we're making every day and I just want to share it with the world.